Around the start of the year, we had our Founders Day dinner, and I met a gentleman there. He's an oil and gas attorney in Texas, and so he gave me his card and asked me to keep in touch. Uh, around the same time at the law school, we were taught by Career Services to keep kind of a spreadsheet of our contacts that we had met, so I went home and I put his name in the spreadsheet, and then I sent him a short email saying, Douglas, it was nice meeting you. Uh, and he replied probably a day or two later and said, it was nice meeting you, keep in touch. So about a year later, I sent him an email, probably around the same time, and said, Douglas, don't know if you remember me, but I finished my first year, just wanted to say hello, and he replied. And then around placement break, one of my friends was going to Dallas for the break, and I mentioned that I knew an attorney there, and I said she should contact him. So I emailed Douglas and gave him a heads up that she would be in town. And he replied and he said that he was impressed that I kept a database. And he mentioned in his email that at that time he had 10,000 names in his database. And so even though he didn't remember all those people, within a few minutes or seconds of being on the phone, he could look up a name and some key information about that person and then say hi to them and talk about things that were relevant to both of them. Another thing that maybe shouldn't be surprising is that people really are willing to talk to you and give you advice and help you. And sometimes we think that we're new law students or we don't know anything, but people are pretty good and they want to see you succeed.